imagine if I received the questions? It would be the electric chair. The first thing I thought of when I heard about it is, how does the press get this information that's classified? How do they do it? You know why? Because it's an illegal process. You are old enough to have seen a time that was much different. You never saw heads chopped off until a few years ago. They built pipelines, and they failed. Didn't work. They paid millions and millions and hundreds of millions of dollars to consultants and lawyers, and they failed. I ask, what's going on in Chicago? Right? What is going on? There? There's, there's no excuse for it. I think it should be, I think it would be frankly more interesting. I know how good everybody's ratings are right now, but I think it'd actually be, I think it'd actually be better. How are the Republicans going to finally get together? Where did all these people came that voted for Donald Trump? And he was all set. I spoke to him on the phone. Very nice guy. I hear he wanted that meeting with you as well. He wanted it. But we called, 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 called. <laughs> Made you laugh? Please press the thanks button and buy my team a coffee. One dollar nine nine. Thank you. Inside Donald Trump's prison cell, the surroundings are like any other small enclosed space. The walls are gray concrete, and a narrow cot with a thin mattress is the only piece of furniture. A tiny metal sink and toilet combo sit in one corner. While a small barred window allows a sliver of natural light to filter in. The sound of clanking bars echoes through the air as guards patrol the hallway outside. What? What? What is... President Trump is 76 years old. He will die in federal prison. Trump spends his days pacing the limited floor space. The once powerful man now finds himself in a place of confinement. 